All right, so let's talk about what you need to do to prepare for your first board meeting. I would say that being prepared is the number one thing you need to do. And you also have to prepare your board members. So what you want to do is send out information that's going to be talked about at the meeting, prior to the meeting. Usually two weeks is a good time. That way, all of the board members will know what you're talking about and they can prepare responses and have ideas to actually discuss during the meeting. You also need to be prepared for questions that the board members are going to ask because they're going to expect you to have answers and you want to be seen as a competent leader. Another thing you will want to do is appear confident. If you're too timid, that could send some nonverbal cues that you don't really believe in your ideas. So you need to have a competent approach for your ideas to be accepted by the group. You're going to find yourself in a room full of other business leaders who want to take control of this meeting. If you have an agenda, make sure to drive the leaders back to the agenda and don't let other people steer the ship. One of the things I would also recommend is to get to know your board members. And you can do that by taking them to lunch, talk about the issues and challenges that you're facing so that you can get their insight. When the board members see that you are listening to them, it lets them see that you're competent and that you respect them. We have all been inside of ineffective and effective board meetings. What you want to do is learn the formalities. So one, that you don't make any faux pas. And two, you can figure out what the expectations are of you as a leader on what you're supposed to include, one, in the agenda and how the board meeting is actually run. One thing to note is that board members don't really like change. So before you bring on an idea or a solution that's going to have lots of change, you really want to meet one-on-one -on -one with the board members to make sure this surprise is not going to scare them. Many board members like things to stay the same, but if you really come across a great idea, you need to discuss it with each one individually to see what their take is. That way it's not a surprise when it comes up on the agenda. In summation, what you will want to do is be confident, be prepared, and be willing to listen.